Imagine you're going about your day when suddenly everything stops. No electricity, no internet, no phones. Chaos erupts as people realize the world they once knew has vanished. In these critical first 24 hours, your actions will determine your survival. So, what are your priorities? Secure shelter, gather essential supplies, and assess the situation around you. But here's the key. Staying calm is your superpower. While others panic, you need to think clearly. Take deep breaths, focus on the present, and make rational decisions. Remember, stress clouds judgment, and in this new world, clear thinking is your lifeline. By mastering these initial hours, you're not just surviving, you're setting the stage for long-term resilience in a changed world. As the initial shock wears off, a harsh new reality sets in. The world you knew has vanished, replaced by a landscape of scarcity and uncertainty. This is where your true test begins. In the days following a collapse, resources deplete at an alarming rate. Supermarket shelves empty within hours as panic buying sets in. Fuel supplies run dry, leaving vehicles abandoned on highways. But it's the failure of basic services that truly marks the breakdown of society. Electricity grids falter and fail, plunging cities into darkness. Water treatment plants shut down, leaving taps dry and raising the specter of waterborne diseases. Have you ever considered how fragile our modern infrastructure really is? Without constant maintenance, systems we take for granted daily could quickly crumble. Roads deteriorate, bridges become unsafe, and communication networks fall silent. The world you once knew fades away, replaced by a more primitive existence. In this new reality, adapting quickly becomes your key to survival. So what's the first crucial skill? Resource management. Every drop of water, every morsel of food becomes precious. You'll need to ration your supplies carefully, stretching them far beyond what you once thought possible. But rationing alone won't be enough. This is where knowledge becomes power. Do you know which wild plants in your area are edible? Can you identify safe water resources in your area? These skills, often overlooked in our modern world, suddenly become life-saving. Foraging for wild edibles can supplement your dwindling food supplies, but it requires careful study and practice. One mistake could turn out to be fatal. Improvisation becomes your second nature. That plastic bottle isn't trash. It's a vital container for water purification. Those old newspapers? Insulation for your shelter. In this new world, creativity becomes currency. But the challenges aren't just physical. The psychological toll of a collapsed society is immense. Grief becomes a constant companion as you mourn the loss of your previous life. Uncertainty about the future can paralyze you with fear. In this situation, how do you cope when everything you've known has changed? This is where community becomes crucial. In times of crisis, humans instinctively band together. Your neighbors, once casual acquaintances, could become your lifeline. Together you can pool resources, share skills, and provide the emotional support needed to weather this storm. Building these alliances requires a delicate balance. Trust becomes both essential and scarce. You'll need to be cautious, but isolation is not an option. Start small, perhaps by organizing a neighborhood watch or a communal garden. These simple acts of cooperation lay the groundwork for a stronger, more resilient community. Remember, in this new world, your mindset is your most valuable asset. Cultivate adaptability and resilience. Celebrate small victories, whether it's successfully purifying water or growing your first crops. Each day you survive is a triumph, a step towards mastering this new reality. As you navigate these challenging days, you're not just surviving, you're evolving. The skills you develop now, from resource management to community building, are laying the foundation for long-term success. You're becoming someone who can not only endure hardship, but thrive in adversity. As the initial shock of societal collapse fades, a new reality sets in. The world you once knew is gone, replaced by a landscape of scarcity and uncertainty. But humans are adaptable creatures, and now it's time to shift from mere survival to rebuilding a semblance of normalcy. The chaos of the first month gives way to a pressing need for long-term planning and organization. Remember those impromptu community meetings in the early days? They now evolve into more structured gatherings, where decisions about resource allocation, security, and governance take center stage. 
it's time to establish new routines and create a framework for your community's future. Have you ever considered how quickly society can reorganize itself when forced to? In the absence of traditional authority, new leaders emerge, often those with practical skills or the ability to unite people. You might find yourself taking on roles you've never imagined, from community organizer to mediator. Embrace these opportunities as they're crucial for creating stability in uncertain times. As you work to establish this new normal, certain survival skills become more critical than ever. First aid knowledge, once a nice to have, is now essential. With hospitals overwhelmed or non-functional, the ability to treat injuries and manage illnesses can mean the difference between life and death. Consider organizing first aid workshops to share this vital knowledge within your community. Food preservation techniques also take on new importance. That garden you started in the early days? Now you need to ensure its bounty lasts through leaner times. Learning to can, dry, or ferment foods isn't just about survival. It's about creating a sustainable food supply for your community. These skills connect you to generations past who relied on these methods, bringing a sense of community in a world of change. Security measures become a daily concern. Without functioning law enforcement, communities must organize their own protection. This might involve setting up neighborhood watches, creating warning systems, or even building defensive structures. Remember, the goal isn't to create a fortress, but to foster a sense of safety that allows your community to focus on rebuilding. As traditional currency loses its value, a barter economy emerges. Suddenly, that stack of old magazines isn't trash. It's valuable insulation or fuel. Your neighbor's carpentry skills are worth their weight in gold. Learning to identify valuable goods and services in this new economy is crucial. What skills do you have that others might need? How can you contribute to your community's well-being? This shift to a barter system does more than just facilitate trade. It strengthens community bonds. When you trade directly with your neighbors, you build relationships and trust. These connections become the social fabric that holds your new society together. Throughout this period, maintaining hope and celebrating progress, no matter how small, becomes vital. Did your community successfully set up a water purification system? That's cause for celebration. Did you harvest your first crop of vegetables? Time for a community meal. These moments of joy and shared accomplishment do more than boost morale. They reinforce the idea that together, you can overcome any challenge. As we approach the three-month mark after the collapse, a remarkable transformation begins to unfold. The initial scramble for survival gives way to a more deliberate focus on long-term sustainability. Have you ever considered how quickly humans can adapt to new circumstances? This period marks the transition from merely existing to actively rebuilding a new society. The makeshift gardens you planted in those early weeks are now yielding their first harvests. But sustaining your community requires more than just a few vegetable patches. It's time to think bigger. Small-scale agriculture becomes the cornerstone of your new economy. Those with farming knowledge suddenly find themselves in high demand teaching others how to maximize crop yields and manage livestock with limited resources. Energy production takes center stage as well. Without the power grid, even simple tasks become challenging. Innovative solutions emerge, from basic windmills to solar panels salvaged from abandoned buildings. Communities that muster sustainable energy production gain a significant advantage in this new world. But rebuilding isn't just about physical infrastructure. The social fabric of your community needs reconstruction, too. How do you govern when traditional authorities no longer exist? This period sees the emergence of new leadership structures, often based on merit and practical skills rather than past credentials. Town hall meetings become the norm, with decisions made collectively. It's a return to a more direct form of democracy, born out of necessity. Now, challenges will begin to arise in this new system. How do you ensure fairness in resource distribution? What about resolving conflicts without a formal legal system? These questions lead to intense debates and sometimes difficult compromises. But through this process, your community develops its own unique identity and set of values. As you build for the future, preserving knowledge becomes crucial. The internet, that vast repository of human knowledge, is no longer accessible. Libraries, if they survived, become invaluable resources. But it's not just about preserving old knowledge. 
It's about documenting the new skills and discoveries made in this post-collapse world. Imagine a world where the wisdom of how to purify water or build a wind turbine from scrap materials is as valuable as any ancient text. Community historians emerge, tasked with recording these vital learnings for future generations. Schools are re-established, not just for children, but for adults eager to learn skills essential to this new reality. Throughout this period of rebuilding, maintaining hope and celebrating progress becomes more important than ever. Every new building raised, every successful harvest, every problem solved through community cooperation. These are all victories worth celebrating. These moments of joy do more than just boost morale. They reinforce the belief that not only can you survive this new world, but you can thrive in it. But let's be clear, this journey isn't easy. There will be setbacks, conflicts, and moments of doubt. The key is to view each challenge not as a roadblock, but as an opportunity to grow stronger and more resilient as a community. Remember, every problem solved is a lesson learned, a step towards a more sustainable future. As you approach the one-year mark since the collapse, take a moment to reflect on how far you've come. The person you were 365 days ago would hardly recognize the capable, resilient individual you've become. You've not only survived, you've helped lay the foundation for a new society. As we've explored the immediate aftermath of a societal collapse, you might be wondering, is there any hope for long-term survival and recovery? History offers us valuable insights into human resilience during times of crisis. Throughout the ages, societies have faced catastrophic events and not only survived, but often emerged stronger. Let's examine some of these historical examples and see what lessons we can apply to our own potential survival scenarios. Have you ever heard of the concept of critical slowing down? It's a fascinating early warning sign of societal collapse that researchers have identified. Imagine a society as a complex system, like an intricate machine. When this system starts to falter, it takes longer to recover from small disturbances. This increased recovery time is what scientists call critical slowing down. Understanding this concept can help us recognize the signs of impending collapse and take proactive measures to prepare. But here's an encouraging twist. Contrary to popular belief, societal collapse doesn't always lead to chaos and violence. In fact, research shows that cooperation often increases in the aftermath of disasters. When faced with shared challenges, humans have a remarkable capacity to come together and support one another. This instinct for cooperation could be your greatest asset in a post-collapse world. Let's look at some historical examples of societies that have weathered major crises. During the Black Death in medieval Europe, communities faced unimaginable hardship. Yet many villages and towns managed to reorganize and adapt. They developed new systems for caring for the sick, disposing of the dead, and maintaining essential services. This period of crisis even led to some positive social changes, such as improved working conditions for survivors due to labor shortages. Another example is the resilience shown by England during the 20th century. Despite enduring two world wars and the collapse of its colonial empire, England maintained its core identity and social structures. This ability to preserve societal foundations, even in the face of significant external shocks, is a key characteristic of resilient societies. What can we learn from these historical examples? First, the importance of community cannot be overstated. In times of crisis, strong social bonds and mutual support systems are often the difference between survival and collapse. Second, adaptability is crucial. Societies that survive major upheavals are those that can quickly adjust their practices and beliefs to new realities. But perhaps the most important lesson is the power of hope and shared purpose. In the darkest times, it's the belief in a better future and the collective will to achieve it that drives recovery and renewal. As you prepare for potential crises, remember that your mental resilience and ability to inspire others could be your most valuable assets. Understanding these historical patterns of collapse and recovery provides valuable insights for navigating your own post-collapse journey. By recognizing the signs of societal stress, fostering community cooperation, and maintaining hope, you're not just preparing for survival, you're laying the groundwork for rebuilding and thriving in a new world. In facing a major crisis, 
Don't underestimate the incredible capacity of humans to adapt and thrive. You won't just survive, you will lay the groundwork for a new world. As you move forward after 365 days, keep your eyes on the horizon. Remember, knowledge and adaptability are your most valuable assets. Keep learning, keep preparing. Each new skill you master increases your resilience. If you're wondering where to begin in your prepping journey, start by stockpiling the 14 essential foods the Red Cross urges you to have for any emergency. Click the video on screen now to learn more.